Triple H just met up with Bad Bunny, so we'll see what's going on with that meeting. We'll also see what's new for Roman Reigns, Alexa Bliss, and more. Let's start things off with some big news for Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre. Coming out of the War Games match, one of the biggest talked about moments was when Kevin Owens brutally slapped Roman Reigns across the face. It was instantly reported that Roman was upset with the unplanned spot because it didn't make sense within the story and how he truly wasn't prepared for such a brutal slap. It was said that Roman was irate backstage, but eventually calmed down. That's been the story that's been discussed for weeks. One of Roman and WWE's biggest fear was that he had suffered a ruptured eardrum but there was no confirmation on that injury until most recently. Wrestling Observer has now reported that Roman Reigns did in fact suffer a ruptured eardrum and missed those few weeks after Survivor Series, partially because of that injury. But it was just a scary close call, because the immediate future of WWE does rest in Roman's hands. He has the long reign going. He's fully expected to have another huge main event at WrestleMania 39. You just don't need any little injury like this one. That could have been avoided, putting all those things in jeopardy. So it's not saying that all the superstars should be extremely gentle with Roman Reigns, but at least until WrestleMania 39, this man has the entirety of WWE on his shoulders. Can't put him in harm's way at all. Strangely enough, Roman Reigns is not the only superstar that went down with an injury at Survivor Series. Reports claim that Drew McIntyre also suffered a ruptured eardrum during Survivor Series. McIntyre did push through and appeared at some shows following the injury, but was eventually ruled out of in-ring competition. Drew McIntyre was supposed to team up with Sheamus to take on the Usos, but just a few days before that match was set to take place, Drew tweeted that he was medically disqualified from competing. And at the time, no one knew what was going on with Drew McIntyre, but it appears that this disqualification could have been related to his own ruptured eardrum. But same thing like Roman, it's not a long-term injury and Drew McIntyre is still scheduled for some WWE live event shows in late December, so he should be back in the ring in the coming days. So as WrestleMania 39 gets closer and closer, the amount of rumors and reports for Roman Reigns' WrestleMania plans will continue to grow. So, to recap the last few weeks, it was first reported that WWE had discussed The Rock returning at number 30 during the Royal Rumble match and winning the entire thing to face Roman at WrestleMania. Majority of fans agree that although it would have been a shocking return, The Rock winning the Royal Rumble just seems a bit on the lazy side especially when given the great depth that the Bloodline story has right now. Bringing in The Rock at Royal Rumble obviously isn't the only way to write him back into WWE television. If WWE was to slowly set up and tease The Rock's return through cracks in the Bloodline, that'll be a lot more suspenseful and thrilling. Just tease it, hint at it, and maybe The Rock can return in a fashion like Bray Wyatt at Extreme Rules 2022 or John Cena at Money in the Bank 2021. Just this big moment where you think a certain show is over, and then The Rock makes his return there in that spot. A return like that sounds way more exciting and thrilling, especially when you look at the success of Wyatt and Cena's returns, who just happen to use that same format for their returns. A return like that for The Rock to just have this face-to-face -face confrontation with Roman Reigns seems like it'll be more of an exciting moment than the classic number 30 entry to win the Royal Rumble, which has been done already time and time again. But either way, you can't really complain. We'll take a return from The Rock in any fashion at all. But then, the other rumor started by the fans was that Roman should pull off double duty and defend one title during each of the two nights at WrestleMania 39. At first, reports claimed that there was no truth to that rumor, but things have now changed. Reports are now claiming that WWE has also discussed the possibility of WrestleMania 39 double duty for Roman Reigns, with the two opponents being Cody Rhodes and The Rock. 
which are the two names that everyone pretty much expected. But again, the report claims that it's still pretty early and that there's a high chance that the double duty idea won't stick. But the interesting part about all these early WWE discussions is that The Rock's name seems to be involved with all the conversations. So can we look at that as a good sign that he will be coming, or at least appearing at the show in some fashion? Of course, it's still too early to tell, but the fact that WWE keeps bringing his name up in these conversations has to mean something good. So there's still no solid information regarding the WrestleMania 39 plans for Roman Reigns, but Cody Rhodes and The Rock's name appear to be in early discussions. WWE and Bad Bunny may be up to, yet again, another collaboration with each other. Bad Bunny grew up a massive WWE fan and always dreamed of getting in the ring, and thankfully for him, Bad Bunny had the chance to live out his dreams during the early months of 2021. Bad Bunny appeared at the 2021 Royal Rumble just to perform for the show, but he was instantly pulled into the storyline with The Miz and John Morrison that all kicked off that same night. Bad Bunny would regularly appear on Raw for the months that followed and made his in-ring debut at WrestleMania 37. He would then make his next WWE appearance as a surprise entrant for the 2022 Royal Rumble match and hasn't been seen since in WWE. But thanks to this massive success of the first few collaborations, Everyone expected that partnership between Bad Bunny and WWE to continue, and it looks like there's finally some new evidence of that. Triple H recently took to his Twitter to post a picture with Bad Bunny. The two of them had lunch together in Los Angeles. There's still no words on what exactly was talked about and discussed, but the popular fan guess is that it's something related to another collaboration between Bad Bunny and WWE. So be on the lookout for that. It's starting to feel like late 2020 again, where everyone had their eyes on Alexa Bliss and her dark transition into a new character. That same sort of similar story is taking place right now for current day Alexa Bliss. She's still most likely her normal self, but her evil symptoms and habits have been picking up more and more by the week. The big latest teaser is Alexa Bliss attempting to hit the sister Abigail on her opponents. Not only did she try it on Raw, but Alexa's even teasing the Sister Abigail move at house shows now as well. So, the Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss reunion is pretty much confirmed. The only mystery now is the actual date that it will happen. No date has been reported, but the best assumption is that we'll see something go down during Alexa Bliss vs. Bianca Belair. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.